Oh, welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to visit our first red star system. Uh, we got the, in the last episode, I got the, uh, is it the cadmium drive, I think? Um, built and upgraded. Yeah, the cadmium drive. And so uh, we want to go there to, A, do some exploration, but also uh, get, I think it is cadmium that we have to get in order to make the next level drive. Um, so, let's see, if we look, uh, oh, I can't even look at it here. Oh, this is, how did that get damaged? What the heck? Seriously? I don't even know how that got damaged. I mean, I, I've, I've had a couple of scuffles, but nothing major. Um, okay, well, apparently that got damaged, so we're going to have to fix it. Uh, so we're going to need some hydraulic wiring, a quantum computer, and a wiring loom. Um, so yeah, but our major goal for this episode is to uh, go to a red stellar body. Um, so that's what we will be working on, but I guess we better get this Q resonator fixed first. Uh, so let's hop out of our ship here and head uh, up to our storage area and get all the stuff we need to fix that. And then we will head out and go visit a red star. I always get confused when I get up here as to where we're supposed to go. Do I have anything going on in here? Nope. Okay. Alright, so once again, we need two hydraulic wiring and one quantum computer. Uh, we don't have either one of those things in here. Okay, so... For hydraulic wiring, we need carbon nanotubes, salt, and dye high. It must... Is it... Hold on a second. I'm confused about something. Huh. It... When I'm on the Starship, apparently, I can pull directly from containers to manufacture stuff. Um, because it's it's giving me access to salt and dihydrogen even though I don't have that in my inventory. Wait, well, wait a minute, do I? Do I have that in my inventory? No, I don't. How interesting. Okay, uh, so that's certainly an advantage of being here on uh, on the freighter. Let's see, we needed two of those, right? Yeah, we need two. Okay, so let's make. Two more of these, and then we can make another one of these, and then to make the this thingamadoodle, we need one microprocessor and one antimatter, and do we have a microprocessor in here? We do not, and we don't have an antimatter, because if we did, it would probably, probably be pulling that. Okay, so let's make the microprocessor first, and we need another carbon nanotube. And then we're going to need an antimatter housing, unless, do I have one of those? I do. Okay, so we've got an antimatter housing, and then to make the antimatter, we, yeah, so it looks like it pulls resources. You know what, I'm curious about something. Um, if, if we put the... If we put this back into storage, can we still make... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. No, I I don't need that. That's for making fuel. I just need to make the antimatter itself. Okay, anyways, what I was trying to determine is, can we also pull... Quantum computer. Okay, yeah, here, let's do this. Let's put the um, let's put the antimatter back in here. And we will put that's in the starship. 
Yeah, put this in, put that back in storage. Okay, so can we also pull crafted items out of storage? It looks... Yeah, it looks like we can. Okay, that's cool. I don't think I was able to do that down at the base. I'm pretty darn positive I wasn't able to do that down at the base. But apparently we can do it up on the freighter. Which makes no sense, but I'm not complaining because it's a nice... A nice to be, to be able to do that. Okay, so we're just gonna have to stop by the space station, get ourselves a wiring loop. All right, fantastic. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's just do that now. So we'll have to fly to the station. I don't yet have a teleporter uh, terminus gate thing, Madoodle, on here. Uh, we're gonna need to go after um, freighter frigate module thingies. Oh, that's an S class explorer. 23 million units. No, it's an exotic. Um, here, just out of curiosity, I just want to look at the ship. Negotiate price. Yeah, we don't we don't have enough money to get this, even if I did do an exchange. But I'm just curious. It has. It has, looks like it has more tech slots, including, wow, look at that, three of those. They're kind of positioned terribly, though, because you don't want those all together unless you're planning on putting one tech into three overdrive slots, which I guess you could. Uh, but anyways, it has less cargo, but more tech slots. Um, 287, 314, 184, 538 maneuverability. Yeah, it probably has the potential for a lot more hyperdrive range but anyways I'm, I was mostly just curious I, 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 I like I like the ship that we have now for sure but you know as we become more wealthy we will eventually you know be be able to own more than one nice ship but anyway okay well thanks for letting me look at your thing hey by the way um, what do you have for sale man he doesn't have any wiring looms for sale Selenium. I don't think I have anything I want to sell to him. Um, I did. I did pop those those other three uh, charts that I had and just did some off camera stuff, but nothing, nothing real phantasmagorical happened. I did record some of it, but I decided just to to ditch it because it wasn't it wasn't super cool. You know, it was okay, but nothing real good. So. Side. Well, let's just let's not not show it. Okay, so yeah, we need to get to the space station, so let's head over there. We'll buy ourselves some wiry looms, and then we're gonna take off for a red star system. Do some actual bona fide exploring, baby. Exit pulse to examine an object. Oh, it's one of these deals. Okay, so he has a message. Okay, blah, blah, blah. The commuter, communicator image sputters the signal we can rapidly scout. Olia's ship appears to be in urgent need of repair. Offer to repair metal plating. Okay, hold on. Well, I gotta make the metal plating, dude. Oh, man, that's dumb. Give me a chance to make the metal plating. could pop down to that green planet with the mean sentinels and harvest a bunch of gravitino balls but I'm not I'm not really in a farming mood right now I want I'm in an exploring mood with the exception of you know getting some um, cadmium itself I've got a gob of um, nav data so I think I'm gonna buy some more of those charts I really want to find some more salvage ships for both the money and the expansion slots and, you know, the possibility of finding an S-Class ship, too. Or even a good, decent, you know, um, A-Class or... Uh, exchange... Okay. Let's try, let's try the random map first. What kind of map is it? Eh, it's a planetary chart. Okay. My understanding is he'll always give us a planetary chart for the random one. 
So we are going to exchange specific charts. And I want to grab... Yeah, he, he gave us a commercial cartographic data, and we want an emergency one. Okay, so... Oh, no. Did I leave... Oh, shoot. I must have left all my stuff on the freighter. All my nav thingies. Um... And I guess, yeah, let's let's just go back and get those. Well, well, here, before I do that, though, let's get the wiring looms. That's the reason we came here in the first place. It's a B class. B class flying bathtub. B class there, too. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, I'm... Wait a minute. I was on the right side of the station. Oh, for Pete's sake. It's been a long day, you guys. <laughs> it's been a really long day. But I'm glad to be home. Yep, it is on this side. Can't take me anywhere. Okay, so wiring looms. Okay, they're just a little bit under average, which is good. Uh, how much money do I have? You know what? I'm just going to buy 10 of these because we always need them. And since they're, you know, a little bit less than average, we're just going to buy them. Okay. Now, let's just go back to our freighter. No, oh, not there. Here. Okay, and then we're going to run back here and grab our charts. Which should be... No, actually, those will, those will be in here. No, 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 not our charts are... Uh, wait. Where is... Here, let's, let's fix this. Where's all my nav data charts? They're not... Uh, oh, here they are. Yeah, they're in here. Yeah, so 50 of them. Well, almost 50 of them. Here, we'll take us. Let's... Um, let's do this. Let's split these. And I'm going to buy 10 more suit upgrade charts and 10 more of the... Emergency charts. Distress beacon emergency type charts. Uh, let's put uh, this in here. And we'll put the other wiring looms in here. Okay. Yeah, so we're looking for... Well, this we can expand our freighter with. I, I, we probably do that from here, too. Um, but we're looking for the starship version of of those. I, there's a name for them, but it escapes me at the moment. I don't know what that name is. Alright, I'll meet you guys back at the station. Okay, so I didn't bring enough uh, to get 10 of each, but that's okay. So we got 10 of the emergencies and 3 of the exosuits. Fair enough. That's a C hauler. That's a C ugly. That's an Explorer B. That's a C. Alright, let's go. the galaxy map all right we are looking for 
Enter free look. We're looking for a red star. And preferably a red star that's a Viking system with three. Uh, There's a three star system. We're a little bit out of jump range. I mean, we can chart a path to it if we had to. out of jump range. So if it's out of jump range, I guess that means we can't see any information about it. Well, no, that's not, we can see information about that, but that requires an indium drive. Oh, wait a minute. That's a two star. Let's, um, economy, life form, no filter. I don't have a conflict scanner. So what do the colors represent then? We are currently here in a no way that's not where we're at we're here okay so this this is a three star system so if I put the economy filter on how do I know what the colors mean I don't know. I don't know. And then what do what what do the colors mean for life form? Not really sure. Okay. Well, I was gonna see if um black hole free explorer galactic core. Well that's kinda cool. Okay. So we can always reset the path back to the current system. You know what we could do is we could go through the black hole. Um, Well, all right, I'm guessing that I'm not really seeing a star that is red per se. I'm seeing some pink stars, so I'm going to assume that those are the red stars. You know what we could do is here, let's let's do this. Let's take the cadmium drive offline okay and then if we go back into the galaxy map now it'll tell us we need a cadmium drive yeah there we go okay so that that is a red star system so it is the pink pink ones um and but it's not I wonder why my galaxy scanner doesn't seem to be well, it works in some places, but not in others. It's probably because I don't have the right drive. Well, no, that's not true because in this particular case, Okay, well, since I don't know what this system is, it's it is definitely a red star and it's pretty close by. So let's select that system. And we want to set it as a waypoint. And now we have to go back out 
and put this back in place. Okay. Alright, and then select there and warp. Alright, here we go. Off to a new system. only two planets oh it's uncharted that's why how interesting so I think that means oh look at that we visited a rare star system I think that means there's no space station here but we can still call the anomaly right yeah and we can also we should also be able to call our starship okay well let's scan the two planets that are here first of all Okay, that has cadmium. That's what we're after. It says it's a crimson planet, but that does not look like a crimson planet to me. It looks like a blue planet, like an Earth planet. It's got some weird looking formations. There's like no color on this planet. Now there's a little bit of color, but not much. Let's fly around a little bit and look for a cadmium deposit. And um, we got that massive, massive scanner upgrade too. So I'm going to really start scanning stuff because we're going to make a nice uh, chunk of change just from scanning. I mean, way more than we have so far. What an interesting place though, man. No color at all. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's just land. And we're gonna do a couple of things. What's up with the lag? Sentinels require obedience. Okay, well, there's no environmental hazard. There's just hardly any color here. It's so bizarre. Okay, so let's let's do this. Um, let's just see how much money we get for scanning. Thirty thousand dollars for just a mineral scan. What's this? Hexaberry? Hey, I want a Hexaberry. Alright, we got a Hexaberry. Um, here, let's let's look at something. We're currently at 7789. Let's see if we can get to 8 million just from scanning. 40,000. Really? We got 40,000 bank from scanning a bush. That's incredible. Wow. We just, we should just fly around and just scan. <laughs> we'll get rich doing that. There's a nasty plant over there. Oh, there's, um, what is that? Ooh, magnetized ferrite deposit. Nice. We don't really need that, though. There's a... Uh, no, we don't need phosphorus, either. I need a cadmium deposit. There we go. 
Okay, let's tag that. And there were some critters over here. Uh, they're down over on the other side of a... Oh, they're big ones too. Oh, we're going to get some money for these big boys. 212,000 <laughs> units, you guys, for one animal. Wow! That's amazing! I don't know what... I just... Yeah, we just made another 212,000 for whatever that was I just scanned. Uh, high in the sky. 113,000 for that. Did we, Have we hit 8 million yet? Oh yeah, we're at 8.5 million. <laughs> wow! I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, okay, anything else in the immediate vicinity that we haven't scanned yet? There's something that started scanning, yeah, that little plant there. Probably these big ring things are just too big to scan, but there's some more flyers over there. Um, oop, I almost had it. There we go. 70,000 for that. Armored clam. This is so weird though that there's hardly any color here. How bizarre is that, man? A new critter there. 212,000. Look at these floating bubble thingies. Oh, I already scanned those. Oh, interesting. Have we scanned you? Yeah, you're like a giant tick. Giant tick creature. Forty grand for scanning the monster plant. for that. Can we scan you guys? Nope. 113,000 for those guys. Let's hop down in the cave here really quick. See if there's any critters in here. Alright, it seems to end right here. Is that scan? Okay. over to our cadmium here. Scan the Venus flytrap. We've already scanned those. There we go. Alright, see any other red dots anywhere? Let's see how, how we've done so far. Discoveries. 6 of 11 fauna. Cool. Uh, speaking of discoveries, too, we have... Well, I guess I can't access it from here, but... We have some more uh, uploads that we can do. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and grab some cadmium. And then I think from here we'll be able to make the indium drive or the emerald drive with this stuff. And then we'll do the same thing. Then we'll just go to the green star system. Superheated rainstorm, huh? All right, you know what? Let's um, let's call our ship over here. And while we're at it, let's also can't summon the warp drive is insufficient for current system. Oh, we got to put. Oh, right, we're gonna have to put a cadmium drive on the freighter too. Oh, interesting. Okay. Just looking to see if there's anything I might have missed. Scan. There we go. Scan wise. Yeah, this is getting a little, a little hot. If we get in here, are we protected? Yeah, we're semi-protected. We're not recharging, are we? But we're also not taking more damage either. Well, yeah, it's pretty. The thing is, it's like if I keep mining, I'm gonna uncover myself and then I'll be exposed. So um, let's hop into here real quick and get recharged. Now, what I want to do is let's put let's pop this signal booster down first and just see what it comes up with, and then we'll also pop uh, one of the emergency star charts too. So, signal booster. I don't think I found anything. Doesn't it usually... It's not doing like the little shoot up into the air thingy. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the storm's interfering with it. Yeah, I'll bet you that's what it is. Probably a storm, huh? Okay, let's go to Exosuit. And we want to recharge life support. Technology recharge. Exaberry. I'll have to go take that and throw it back in our thingy. Um, well, you know what? We can do this from in here, can't we? Oh, no, we can't. All right, well, I'm just going to wait for the storm to finish. When the storm's finished, I'm going to mine up all that cadmium. When that's done, I'll bring you guys back, and then we'll pop the chart and also put down the uh, other thing and see if we can find a location to investigate. The planet has more color when it's stormy than it does when it isn't. All right, guys, so we got a full stack and then some of cadmium. Uh, so let's once again uh, pop this guy down and see if it'll work now. Nope, it doesn't seem to work. So maybe there's just something weird about this planet. All right, um, so let's go ahead and what is that? constant rumbling noise here too. That would be weird to have to live with that all the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop uh, one of these. Cannot use chart locational interference. Oh! Really? Okay. Well, then I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's... Let's just move to a different location, because maybe that's why nothing's working. We'll do a little scan from the ship, too.
looking for red dots. In fact, what does it say we're still missing? There's one more ground critter and there's two underwater critters. Okay, so we've got we've gotten all the flyers. Alright, let's see if, if it works here now. Maybe we just can't use it on this planet at all. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our freighter and try it from there. I didn't don't ha didn't have room for, you know, the upgraded launch thrusters uh, cuz we have to open some more slots up on this ship, but we we will definitely do that. One of the reasons why I want to you know, do find some more ships so we can increase our slots. Alright. Our freighter should be really close by. What happened to it? I don't even see it. Oh no, we couldn't call the freighter to us, could we? Oh, that's a problem. Um, can we... Well, here, let's just go to this this planet here. It wants to go back to the anomaly. That's a scalding planet. We have like uh, 9.2 mil now. <laughs> just from all that scanning we did, it's crazy. Derelict freighter. This isn't... I don't think we can do anything with this. Or can we? I've looked at these before and all I managed to do was get my ship caught tangled up in it and just about died. So I don't know if, if, if we can actually do anything with these derelict freighters. I mean, can you shoot, shoot them? Okay, so I did a quick uh, look-see, and apparently there's two types of derelict freighters. There's this type, which there's no way to land on it, but apparently there can be pods we can shoot that might get us some, some loot. And then there there are derelict freighters that are, <clears throat> that are whole in one piece that you can land on, and those are the ones that give you a chance of getting... Um, uh, salvage frigate thingy. So, but it did say that these ones can have pods that might have, like, you know, chromatic metal and stuff in it. So, I don't know, with that, I, I, you want to be careful, though, because I did, uh, I did get tangled up in one of these ones, and I just about died. Thing is, I'm just not really seeing anything that looks like pods on this. What about this part over here? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so that's what we shoot. And it did say it can attract pirates too, but. That's uh, probably not going to go well for them. Yeah, case in point. Alright, I need to back up a little bit to get him in my sights. Good night, Gracie. Okay, so let's shoot this one. And we got 
got some more gold. Wow, that's a nice chunk of gold, guys. And then we get a, a couple of pirates to kill on top of that. Here, we need to get our shields back. Come here, you bugger. Shields. Not that they're in that bad of shape, but might as well since it's free shield replenishment. Is that it? Why does it say land? Oh, yeah, landing sequence unavailable. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So, um, are there any more? I don't see any more of the pod thingies. Okay, well that was a nice chunk of gold, man. We got almost a 300 gold out of doing that, so that's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's head on down to this planet here. Hopefully we can scan from down here. We'll do a little bit more... Uh, Analysis visor stuff down here too. Get some more um, Daenerys. Again? You guys really shouldn't be messing with me. Alright, let's go deal with this asshole. Alright, let him approach. back, baby. Beat on. Here we go. Okay, that should be it. Yeah, I think. Again? What the hell, man? How many pirates are there in this system? Okay, we need to get um, some shields back first.
Suck it, dude. Shields back. All right, now leave me alone. Bastards. What is up with this? Are they... Will they shoot at us if we're landed? We've destroyed 70 starships. Nice. They don't appear to be shooting at us. Burning air. Lovely. Alright, let's do some scanning here. Say, why aren't you skinny? Oh, look at that thing. A roly poly. That looks like a cross between a giant beaver and a, a mole. Phosphorus. Ferrite and carbon. Wave it to us. Oh, hi there, little feller. Flying worms. Any more red dots up in the sky? Well, besides that one. how much money we're making doing this. This is just amazing. Okay. Um, I want to go check out these roller pulleys. Do they unrolly pulley? We're gonna, we need to get some creature pellets and just see. How very interesting, though. Oh, uh, we got more, more critters. I saw red dots this way. All right, cool. Trippy looking. Oh, another red dot over there. Seventy grand for that guy. There we go. 
Okay, I think we got most of the easy stuff to scan in the nearby vicinity. What's our money up to now? 10,000. <laughs> 10.6 million, rather. Okay, so can we... Uh, where's my... Where's my ship? Ship, ship, ship to do, ship to do, ship to do's over here. Let's recharge our thingy, and then we'll we'll see if we can pop the chart. How many critters did we get? Half of them. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that. That thing's trippy. They can eat solar vine. They hear ground vibrations. Okay, answer me this. How do they hear ground vibrations if they're in the air? Well, I guess they hear the ground vibrating, right? They like nip, and they're telepathic. Trippy. There's another flyer and and two underwaters that we didn't get. Oh my goodness, that's taking forever to recharge. Okay, here, let's um, let's try this first. So it doesn't work here either, huh? Is it like this whole entire system? Hmm. Locational interference, it says. So even if we're in the ship, can I charge locational interference? How are you supposed to discover anything in this system then? Uh, or, I mean, use charts. Or is it truly just where I happen to be landed? Let's land over here and jump in the water real quick and see if we can find that other water creature. Try this again too. Nope. So I'm starting to think it's this entire system. We're gonna swim in some boiling water. How about that? Scan this stuff. Alright, do we see any red red dots? Yes. All right, fantastic. Is that all of them? Nope. We still have four more. Um, there's two underground and two flyer. Wait, no, another underwater. Okay. Any more red dots? Not that I can see from here. 
Okay. Well, I guess the only other thing we can do is go to the anomaly and see see if we can pop the chart from the anomaly. Uh, I don't know if we can do that or not. I don't know if I've ever tried to. And if we can't do that, then we're pretty much SOL for popping a chart in this system. At least until we can get our freighter here, but we need to build a academy and drive for the freighter. if this works because technically the anomaly is supposed to be in another dimension or something so we're not really in this system while we're in the anomaly but let's just see what it does yeah didn't think so okay well I think we're done here then you guys in this system um, so let's just upload everything 500 nanites, that doesn't suck. Okay, uh, and we, we made about, what, 3 million or something like that just from scanning. That's pretty cool. Just from scanning, we didn't even get everything either. Um, so let's go... Do you want to talk to me yet? Nope. Okay. I probably need to advance the story some more before that guy will talk to us. You guys probably don't have anything to say to me, do you? Nope. Okay. Um, before we take off, let's see what this guy wants. Planet data. And we got a little, few more nanites from that. Let's give him a vortex cube. What do we get? That's it? Nine nanites for a vortex cube? Come on, man. That sucks. I should have sold it. It would have been worth a lot more money. Um, okay. Transmit our milestone data. That's more like it. 200 nanites. What, how are we doing on nanites? Yeah, we're up, almost up to 5,000 again. Pretty good. Okay, you guys, I think that is it for this episode. And I'm just going to use the teleporter to get back to our system. Uh, or at least to our starship. Because our starship is still in a three-star system. So let's, let's go back to that. And before I let you go, let's just pop one chart and see if we get lucky and get a distress call. And then I think what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to um, I'm going to add some more suit slots to the suit with the the pods charts and keep working the um, okay that was weird uh, and keep working these distress charts and looking for some more ships and I think what we'll probably do in the next episode is we should be able to. Here, let's let's do this. We should be able to make the emerald drive now, which we can. There we go. All right, so uh, I think I, I want to keep working on this. So in the next episode, we're gonna hit a green stellar body, and and uh, get the stuff we need to make the indium drive. And once we have the indium drive, then it covers the other two. And I don't know if there's any advantage to keeping the other two, but I don't have room for the other two right now anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. All right, let's pop the chart real quick before I let you go. 
If it is a distress signal, then we'll go a little bit longer, but let's just see what happens. Oh, I don't want a stupid abandoned building. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.